Colorado's largest school district is changing how it notifies parents about things like snow delays. Denver Public Schools has a new system in place. After many families reported getting the message too late during the last big storm, CBS4's Karen Morfitt getting a look at the new system. Karen, that snow before Halloween was just one event that highlighted the problem. Yeah, Jim, and it certainly did highlight that there was a concern there, but there are several other instances involving security that really stress the need for a more efficient system. A change in the school day plus a delayed notification can be a disaster for some parents, something DPS families raised concerns about during last month's snowstorm. I think they shouldn't even send them today. While the weather brings its own set of obstacles, DPS officials say their alerts weren't reaching parents quickly enough. An issue brought to light last school year when an FBI manhunt for 18-year-old Sol Pais forced the closure of nearly every school on the front range. One of our first communications that went out, it took some families four to five hours from when we sent it to receive that message. But that's not acceptable. Deputy Superintendent of Operations Mark Ferrandino says they needed to alert more than 90,000 families, and the old system couldn't reach everyone at once. This new messenger it doesn't do that. That's why it's 911 capability like certified. It is able to get out very quickly to as many people as we need. DPS says their goal has always been to get information to parents within five minutes of an event or change to schedule, and the new system will help ensure that's the case. We know when we have to get those messages out, they will get out in a timely manner where people will be able to react to it quickly after a decision is made. Now, in addition to being much quicker, the new system will also allow DPS to send notifications remotely if they're on scene, and it can be sent in a number of different languages, which is something that the old system could not do. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Karen, thank you.